Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you to my new subscribers that I got. I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded. Uh, life's been a little bit crazy. So it's that time of the month again for us to do another BoxyCharm unboxing. This month I do have the base box and then I do have my premium box um, to unbox today so we can see what goodies we got. Um, and of course, like always, I will unbox everything, tell you the cost of what these products are, and then we will try it on our face and I'll kind of give you my opinion, my thoughts on the products, if they're good or not. They're not always winners, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but other than that, um, as you should know, like I pay for this out of my own pocket. This is not sponsored. I do not get this free of charge from BoxyCharm. So I review this as a consumer of like how I like the boxes uh, for the month and stuff like that. So if today's video is gonna interest you, then keep on watching. Okay, so how has everyone been? How are things? I know things are starting to open up here in Texas. So some of the bars are opening back up. So social life's kind of picking back up again. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing quite yet. Um, let me know down in the comments below. Like, you know, how is your state? Like, is your state a little bit different than ours? Um, I know Texas is super just like, whatever, open everything. I am hoping you liked my last video. <laughs> me and my friend Drake, we had a good time. It was fun it was just a joke to like we were a little bit drunk and we had a good old time so I hope you enjoyed that video it was a little messy but um, it was fun to film and it was just us having a good old time so back to the professional side of my YouTube channel we are gonna unbox today's BoxyCharm boxes of course like I said I have the base box and I do have the premium next month we will be getting a Lux box I believe so look forward to next month's review so let's go ahead and open up the base box, which this retails for $25. Um, this is a monthly subscription service that you can pay for. I, and like I say, I pay for this out of my own pocket. So um, BoxyCharm, if you wanna sponsor these videos, then let me know, hit me up, what's up? <laughs> hit up your boy Jake, I need free products, make it expensive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let me quit rambling like I always do and let's get into the base box and let's see what goodies we have. Okay, so we do, of course, you every box, we do get a little postcard which goes over all the numbers of like how much things cost, you know, retail wise, blah, 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 blah. Um, it just gives us a little bit of information about the products that we do receive in the box. So this month, of course, is Harvest. So that's gonna be amazing. So of course, Harvest with it being November, it's Thanksgiving time. Um, so super excited for that. Okay, so let's see. The first thing in the box is gonna be the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. This retails for an astonishing $48. So if you don't know about Natasha Denona, um, I don't really know a lot about her. I just know that her products are super pricey. Like they're very expensive. A normal eyeshadow palette for her usually retails for about like $129, which I think is a little too much for eyeshadows. Um, so that's a little, that should kind of give you a ballpark. They did give us a 25% off coupon in this box as well for Natasha Denona. Um, which you absolutely need to buy her products. Like, I'm sorry, just a normal everyday consumer um, or makeup lover, like that's not in everyone's budget to afford a $130 palette. So here is the <laughs> component. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for $48 and you get a cardboard unicarton that has no just says Natasha Denona, that is it. Okay, wow. They were like, mm, this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so let's unbox this. So, okay, she's pretty. Cute little little moment. There's five shadows in here. Um, that, Like it said, this retails for $48. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close-up of that. We get one shimmer and four mattes. So that is interesting. We'll definitely try to create an eye look 
with this today. So the next thing that we have is going to be the Farsali Quench. This is a serum. Um, this does retail for $24. So right here is almost the cost of the box. All right, so this is a serum that helps replenish moisture with a unique complex of low and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Ooh, that's bougie, okay. It says hydrate and replenish biomolecular hyaluronic complex and pro vitamin B5. So we will definitely try this out today. Let's unbox her and just kind of see what the actual thing looks like. Okay, that's cute, cute. Just a white bottle with the baby blue. Love that. So we will definitely use that today to prime. So the next thing, oh yay, I love milk products. So we have a Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. It's a waterproof, intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hip-derived cannabis seed oil. Ooh, I'm so excited for that. This does retail for $24, so this is what, you know, of course, the classic Milk logo. Love that. It is triangular. Love that. It's a little bit different. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's weighty. That has some weight to it. Okay. I love things that weigh heavy because it makes it feel bougie. It makes it feel expensive and luxurious. Um, wow. I really, really like this. Okay. It's very much metal. Um, so Kush Waterproof Mascara. This has have a six month shelf life. Ooh, look at those bristles. Oh, I'm excited. We are definitely gonna have to try this out today. All right, so the next thing we have in here is the Yensa Beauty. I think it's Yensa Beauty. Y-E-N-S-A, Yensa Beauty Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. This does retail for $45. It's a two-in-one mask infused with eight orange skin-loving ingredients to help nourish and polish your face for a hydrating, smooth, supple, and radiant complexion. So it's an exfoliating formula that resurfaces your skin in only five to 10 minutes. Won't be able to use this on camera, but I do want to unbox it. Um, I do like when we get masks and stuff in the BoxyCharm, just because it's good to like have a little bit of skincare. So this is what the component looks like, super cute. I wanna smell it and see if it actually smells like pumpkin or, oh, that smells divine, oh my God. But definitely we'll try this out. Look forward to this on my Instagram story. I'll probably post it or something like that. I do want to try this product though and see how it works. So the last thing in our base box is going to be the Jessica Black Liquid Corrector 2.0, which is going to be this component right here. It says meet the perfect under eye brightener while disguising darkness and evening out skin tone. So lightweight formula creates a natural glowy finish. So this does retail for $15. We can definitely use this today. It just says it's a liquid corrector, offers a light coverage, and corrects under eye darkness. Now, I really don't have a lot of under eye darkness, um, but I will definitely try it out today and just see if it really does lighten a little bit under the eye. Everyone can use a little bit of lightening under the eye. It just gives you that more youthful, rested appearance. Um, it says you can apply this with a small brush or fingertips can be used alone or before applying concealer. So we will definitely try this today. It is made in the UK and it's vegan and cruelty free. It says, be fearless, you look fabulous. I love that. All right, so that is the everything in the base box. So let's go ahead and open the premium. Alrighty, so next thing to unbox is gonna be the premium box. This does retail for $35 a month. This is the premium. So you get kind of, I wouldn't say more high end, but you just kind of get a different variety of products that I've noticed in the premium box. So it's kind of the difference. You also get six to seven items, I believe, in the premium box, whereas the base box, you can only get up to five. So you do get a little bit more products in the premium box for an additional $10 a month. So let's pull out the card here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six products this time in this, um, in this month's box. So the first thing that we have in the premium box is going to be the Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream, which is gonna be this right here. Um, I believe we had a moisturizer last month from Premium as well. That was, I think, a matte moisturizer. It's good to see that we get another product as well from this brand to really try it out. <laughs> this Detox Night Cream, it is an astonishing 
$125. Are you kidding me? Let's look at this component. No. $125? No. Oh, it doesn't even reach. Look at that. It's like, hold on. Okay. And like this brand comes in like, I think of it as like acrylic paint canisters because it's like that that foil like kind of thing going on well i'm not gonna be able to use this on camera because it is a night cream i will try it out though and probably post it on one of my stories or something or i'll let you know on twitter because <laughs> that is outrageous so the next thing super excited about is going to be the smashbox photo finish setting powder fresh setting powder um this is a weightless setting powder it does retail for $39 that's what the component looks like so this is just the photo finish fresh setting powder in shade 01 so I'm assuming this is just going to be like translucent so it is a mattifying and a blurring setting powder so ooh, I love that so let's open her up real quick and just see Ooh, love the component the components cute love that it almost looks like a camera lens it's very much that vibe right now. Okay, get fresh powder with every twist. So, oh, you twist this to release the powder. That is interesting. Okay, so here is, I want to see. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, my gosh. It just says shade 01, but I'm not sure how many shades it comes in. So, we will definitely try that out today. So, the next thing we have is, oh, we have an item from Pure love pure um it's a four-in-one skin perfecting powder base palette Ooh, okay so it's a four-in-one uh palette featuring a stunning mix of okay so there's bronzers highlighters blushes and translucent setting powder arranged in a travel friendly palette designed to help you sculpt and highlight um for the perfect look perfect this does retail for 32 dollars. so we definitely have almost like a full face Ooh. I love that. And it says medium tan. Can y'all see that? I know my lights are really bright. I'm sorry. Ooh, okay. So, the, love this white. Ooh. Love the white packaging. I really, really like that. It's very sleek, very beautiful. Um, Look at those shades. Are you kidding me? Those look stunning. Like, I'm assuming this is the setting powder. Here's the bronzer. We got blush, and then we got the highlight. And each one is embossed with something different. I really like that. Ooh, I'm super excited. We will definitely be using this today. I'm super excited for that. So the next thing we have in the box is gonna be the Cosmedex, Cosmedex Skincare Brush Set. So that is what this is right here. Um, this does retail for $25. Um, it says take cleansing to the next level with the embossed brush designed to gently exfoliate an effective deep pore cleansing plus the spa experience home with the dual side silicone spatula. So this is the mask applicator, which is like soft on one end. And then of course it has like the little ridges right here. So you can place it on your face. Um, so that's interesting. This is just like a normal little brush. This is to apply your cleanser on this brush and use it in circular motions on your face um, and then it says rinse your face with warm water to remove the mask so i guess you use the mask brush to put your mask on and then you use this to remove the product interesting okay well i won't be able to use these on camera but we'll definitely try them out just kind of look forward to some of my posts on social media because i'll probably let you know um kind of how they how they work how they act all right let's see the last two products that are in the box so we have dose of colors block party single eyeshadow this does retail for $20. So Dose of Colors never really tried any of their products. I'm super excited though, because um, it does look like a brand that I would like. So super excited for that. This is an eyeshadow pack with a multi-dimensional reflex, creating an ultra dazzling finish. Each eyeshadow comes in its own mirrored compact. So this is in the shade Jackpot. Okay, so the component, cute. Okay, come on, open. Oh shit. <sighs> No! Oh my gosh, it was so hard to open. What in the world? Well, let's swatch her since it's all over my hand. Well, that is what she looks like. It looks like it's a kind of like a dark foresty green with like gold reflex in it. I am like, it's all over the place. It literally 
exploded. That is so softly pressed in that pan. That is what the shade looks like. It is stunning. It is very much stunning. But you can see how it's got the gold reflex in it, but it is very, that dark, that dark green. Oh man. Oh, I've never ruined an eyeshadow like that before. I don't know if that was my fault or if it was the, if it was already like that when it was in the box. Oh. Okay, well let's go over the last thing. It's all over this paper. <laughs> Oh my god, it got everywhere. Okay, so the last thing we have is gonna be the Real Her, Real Her Lip Liner Duo. So this is retailing for $25. Um, it's a creamy formula, so let's see. There's a natural and a matte finish. It's a deep nude in a true red while preventing your favorite lipstick matte or moisturizing from bleeding or feathering. Ooh, so here is the nude shade right here. It is on a retractable pen. Ooh, beautiful color. So that is the nude shade right here. Let's try this red. This looks more like a dark red, kind of like a maroon. Okay, but it swatches more like a true red. That's more of like a dark red to me. Alrighty, well that is everything in the box. So that is the premium box for you. So let's go ahead and do some foundation and stuff real quick and then I wanna try out that color corrector before putting on my concealer and seeing if it makes a difference. So be right back. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do before I put on foundation is I do wanna try this Farsali Quench. It's a moisture replenish serum. So this is supposed to hydrate and replenish. It does come on a dropper. So I wanna, ooh, it's sticky. It looks very, it's very much a serum. I get maybe about three drops of that. And I'm gonna use this as kind of already moisturized, but you can always add just a little bit more since this is a serum. It's not sticky, like it definitely soaked up into my skin. It doesn't leave your face tacky, so that's nice. Um, it does feel good. That absorbed into my skin already. So that's very much just like rehydrated my face for sure. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and laid some foundation on. I went ahead and used my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundation. Um, love this stuff. It's a great color match for me. I did not put foundation right under my under eyes so you can still see my little bit little bit of darkness that I do have. Because what I want to do is I want to go in with this color corrector over that with the with the liquid corrector 2.8 from Jessica Black. What I want to do is I want to place this under my eye before I actually put concealer on to see if it's really going to correct. Now it does say that this is a lightweight formula so it's not going to be super heavy. All right, so I'm going to put it on there just like that. Now it does say that you can use your finger to blend it out or you can use a brush. I'm going to use my finger just to kind of set it in place. And I am gonna take it all the way to the other side of my eye just to really pat that in. All right, so I did let that kind of dry down a little bit. I am gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade Light Medium 29 Neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and see if that really, now this is already a full coverage concealer, but I kind of want to just see if it's really gonna make a difference. And I'm not gonna use a lot of concealer today. I'm just not, kind of more in the more, I'm more than like the medium coverage kind of day feeling to, you know, not so much the high, the high coverage. It's not mixing with the concealer, so that is a good thing. You can see that under eye is bright. I think it worked really well. I think that was, I think it's better to use it with concealer than to not use it with anything. Um, Cause it did leave just a little bit of an orange hue under my eyes where it's correcting. It, it was very lightweight though, very much lightweight. It wasn't super thick or greasy feeling or anything like that. There we go, what do we think? I think it really, I think it really worked. I'm not a huge color correcting kind of person. I usually just stick with my, you know, full coverage concealers and foundations and stuff like that. But honestly, I really do think it at least took out the beauty, the, it took out the blue hue that you can sometimes get like right on, you know, where your dark circles are kind of at. I mean, everyone has dark circles. Like no matter how great your skin is, there's gonna be just a little bit of, of darkness there. Like it's just nature of the game. We're human, it happens. So I do think it helped though, because it does look a little bit brighter. So yeah, I will definitely probably use that again. 
for sure. All right, so next let's set the face. So I'm gonna do my under eye with the translucent powder that is in here. Since this one does have color, the Smashbox photo finish one, I will probably use this everywhere else, but I wanna use the pure um, four in one. I wanna use this translucent powder to set my under eye. So I'm just gonna take that on a Morphe E48 brush. I love this for just like hugging that under eye and getting that powder in there. So we're gonna take this right here on this Pure Cosmetics and just set that under eye. Wow, that looks beautiful. So this is set with the Pure 4-in-1 palette and this is without. Didn't add color, kept it, it's very, it very is mattifying, it very much is mattifying. Does this have a blurring effect? It's a skin perfecting powder, so it probably has a little bit of a blurring, blurring effect because I am seeing like, it is definitely blurring or at least just giving me that skin finish that I absolutely am into. Look at me, I'm just still just like pressing in this powder. That feels beautiful. Okay, it looks good. I'm not mad about it. I will definitely use that powder again. So we will use the other shades here in just a minute, but let me go ahead and set my face with the Smashbox powder. Um, since this one did have a little bit of color, I don't wanna go too, you know, hard with it. So let's pick that up on our brush. I'm going in with the same brush, it's fine. From pure, that pure foreign one um, foundation kind of dries pretty well. So I don't need a lot of powder. I don't want to put too much, but I still like to set it. That's beautiful. I love that powder. Okay, I will definitely use that powder again. I do like that you twist it to get more powder. So it's almost like when you twist it, it pushes the powder up. And then it's got like these little holes that scrape it off and that's what creates the loose powder for you. So I do like that. I will definitely be using this again, for sure. All right, well, let's go ahead and bronze the face. So let's jump back into the Pure Foreign One. This is in medium tan, in case y'all forgot. So I am gonna grab this bronzer right here, and let's see how she's gonna look bronzing the skin. She's pigmented. It looks gorgeous though. Wow, that bronzer is actually, I really like this bronzer, I really do. It's really just like, it's blending effortlessly. It's Luna. Y'all, ignore my cat. Luna, get out from behind there. I'm filming. Can I film? Can daddy make some money? No? Okay, well, I'm sorry guys, she's just gonna be there. Okay, so back to this bronzer. It looks amazing. Luna, do you agree that this bronzer looks amazing? Thank you, your feedback is everything. Okay, I am gonna go down the bridge of my nose. I am gonna go with a little bit more of a thin brush. I like to do this because if I use a thicker brush, like it can, it can you don't want that shadow to be too wide. Then I'll take that same brush again and I just wanna like, Go through and just soften that out. Just like that. What do we think? So that is the bronzer from the palette. I think it looks beautiful. It blended out effortlessly. It's not patchy, which is good. Some bronzers can be patchy sometimes. The color looks great. Really matches my skin tone. It's really giving it to me. This palette's giving it to me. So now let's jump into the blush. Um, I'm gonna take an E4 brush. Let's grab that. I want to grab too much. You can see the product. And I like to just stipple that in. You want to just kind of hug it on the apple of your cheek. And then I like to drag it up into the bronzer. So you just create that seamless line. Oh, that looks so good. The blush is not super pigmented where it can get too much. It is a beautiful coral shade though. I mean, look at that gorgeous. Luna, would you agree it's gorgeous? Yes? Look away if you think I'm gorgeous. 
No? Okay. Well, she's not getting fed today. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's already been eating. Oh, I look stunning. Okay, so last but not least, let's try the highlighter. I'm just gonna take that on a Morphe 451 brush. So it does look a little dark in the pan, so let's kind of swatch her first. Ooh, it's a beautiful gold shade. <gasps> Ooh, that is stunning. Do you see that? Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Okay, less talking, more putting it on her face and see how we like her. Oh, what do we think? Oh, that is beautiful. It's very soft in person. It's reading a little bit more on camera with the lighting, but it is stunning. Oh, look at that. No, like, no cast. It's just beauty. Oh, look at that. Okay. I am a sucker for highlight. If you've been following me on this channel, you know I love a good highlight. Alrighty, so there we have the highlight laid down. It looks gorgeous. Okay, this palette, this palette won it for me. It won me over. I will definitely be using this again. I do hate that it's white because you're gonna get fingerprints all over it. This is the pure foreign one, and you can see it's got medium tan right here, which is nice that they gave me medium tan because I'm kind of in between medium light and medium tan so it's kind of sometimes some products work for me on the medium tan side sometimes products work on the medium light side so i'm right in the middle <laughs> but i think it looks absolutely stunning the highlight looks good putting it with the same foundation from here is just absolutely exquisite i think i look beautiful face is very much blurred very much skin perfecting powders for sure Oh, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, let me go ahead and finish my eyebrows um, off camera. Let me put some primer on my eyes and then we will jump into the Natasha Denona palette. Alrighty, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and primed my eyelids. I did go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and Soft Okra. So we have that base laid down so that we can try out this palette right here, Natasha Denona. Now I've never tried her eyeshadows before, um, so this is kind of going to be like a first impression because I've never really used anything of her brand. Um, so let's definitely dip into it. Let's jump right on in. Let's see what eye look we want to do today. So the first shade I'm going to dip into is Cas Jasper, which is this peachy shade right here, and I'll put that all over the lid. I'm going to grab that on a Laura Lee Los Angeles brush. This is an L18. Like a product. Looks pigmented. Huh. So there is that shade laid down. It looks beautiful. It's not patchy or anything like that. I did have to kind of build it up just a little bit, but so far it's doing okay. So let me go ahead and do the other eye real quick, and then we'll move on to a different shade. I am gonna take this more red shade right here, which is called Amhara, Amhara, um, and use that to kind of darken the outside of the lid. I'm gonna take that just on a Morphe blending brush. Pigment looks good so far. I wanna just focus that. Blend that into that first transition shade just like that because when I put this shimmer I want just a little bit of that color underneath it now you notice I'm not going all the way out because I want to use that brown shade to kind of darken it up even more so I'm not using that I'm not going all the way out here with that shade I'm keeping it more on the center of my lid and I'm doing that on purpose for later when I'm adding more colors so trust the process all right, so next I'm going to take this brown shade right here. That is the shade Thorn. And I'm going to pick that up on a Morphe 433 brush. I'm just going to kind of keep that color right here on the outside and just kind of darken this up a little bit on the outer corner. Add a little bit of depth to this. Now, I am going to go back in with that same Laura Lee Los Angeles 18, uh, L18 brush. I'm going to go back in with that transition shade, the first shade that we used, Jasper. And I usually always do this where I just go back and re-intensify the transition shade. 
I do this a lot because sometimes I need to, you know, I'll cover it up or I just need to re-intensify it a little bit. Just like that. Plus it just kind of helps blend it every, everything in together and just make everything more seamless. Just like that. Okay, so for the shimmer shade in this palette, um, I'm gonna use my finger. This is in the shade Aya, A-Y-A. -A. I'm assuming that's Aya. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and put that on my lid. So there is that shimmer shade laid down. It's absolutely beautiful. It doesn't give me as much of a pop as I would like, but that could just be the formula. I am gonna go back in with that shade um, Amhara, and I'm just gonna make sure and get this kind of cleaned up right here on the outside. Just to really kind of blend those shades together. I'm going over the brown and going over the gold shimmer just to kind of, just like that. See how that just kind of cleaned everything up? Okay, with that same brush, I'm gonna go in with that Amhara shade and I'm just gonna follow that on my lower lash line. And then, once that, I did not, I only went like three fourths of the way there because I'm gonna add a little bit of brown right here just to connect it with the outer part of the lid. So I'm gonna grab that brown shade that's in the palette. Just like that. Not too much, just to kind of connect everything together. Beautiful. This eye is looking amazing. What I want to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of a pointer brush. I'm gonna dip into this highlighter right here and see if I can't use this as like an inner corner highlight. Since we only had one shimmer in that Natasha Denona palette, I always like doing just a little bit in the inner corner of my eye, just cause it adds that pop and it just ties the look together just like that all right well let me go ahead and do a wing real quick and then we will move on to the mascara Alrighty, guys so I went ahead and did a little bit of a winged eyeliner look um, I already went ahead and curled my lashes so that way we can move on to the next product which is gonna be the milk makeup this is the Kush waterproof mascara I'm super excited to try this out so like I said, I already have my lashes um, curled. So let's, since this is a new bottle, um, what I like to do with mascaras when they're new is I really like to scrape the sides of it to really allow the product to get infused onto the brush. Because usually when they, they just stick it in there once and if you go, like it just, it doesn't have the product on there. So I want to give this a fair chance. So yeah, you can see it's, it's on there now. So that is what the applicator looks like. Let's go in. Ooh, it's really coating my lashes. Okay, so here is with the mascara on and here is without. Do you see a difference? I do. This product feels very thin though. Maybe it's just because I've been using the Urban Decay Lash Freak for like ever. That's like my favorite mascara right now. This guy has been just like my all-time favorite. Um, I really like the, since my lashes point down, it like really just lifts them up and gives me that dramatic, that dramatic feel. I'm going in with a second coat right now. Definitely now it's getting more thick. So that's good that you can build up this mascara. Like I said, this is waterproof which is typically not what I like to go for, but. Oh, that built up nicely. Oh, you can definitely see the difference now. So this is with two layers, and this is of course with nothing, just my eyelashes curled. Oh wow, that is a difference, okay. So it's good, it's a good mascara. 
Yeah, it's not clumping. It's not, um, the bristles are getting, you know, encoding each, each lash. So that's good. Yeah, okay. Well, let me go ahead and do this other eye real quick. What's nice is this mascara doesn't smell. You know, some mascaras can have that chemically, that chemical smell. This doesn't, it doesn't smell at all. This did say that it had cannabis oil in there, so we'll see what this is gonna do for my lashes. You definitely do have to do, like let the first coat dry, and then once it's dry, you can go back in with a second layer. Um, just because I'm noticing it's not, it's very buildable, but I'm noticing like if you don't allow it to dry, it doesn't keep adding product. It just kind of just keeps swiping it through. So you do have to kind of let it dry for just a second and then go back in with the second coat to really get that fullness with your lashes. Cause see now it's gonna, yeah. You just gotta let it, it doesn't take long. I only let it dry for like five seconds and then I went back in with a second coat. Alrighty guys, well there are the lashes with the new mascara from Milk Cosmetics. Or Milk Makeup, I'm sorry, it's Milk Makeup. Um, I do like this. I'll probably use it again for sure. Well, let me throw on a lash real quick and then we'll move on to lips. Alrighty, so I got my lashes on. These are my Lily Lashes in the Style Miami Flare. I've been liking these a lot just because they have the flare on the outside. So with the traditional Miamis, they're just kind of like fanned across and these kind of have more dramatic, um, which really complement my eye looks that I usually always do. So that is the new style that I've been just absolutely loving. Lily Lashes, I need y'all to sponsor me. I need y'all to put me on your PR list so I can get free lashes because they're kind of expensive. So <laughs> I will link these down below in case you do want to try them. Um, I will leave everything down in the comment section. I will leave everything down below in the description for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to lips. So I do want to use one of these lip liners. Thinking about going in with the nude, neutral shade, this is from Real Her. It's a lip liner. Um, this is an I Am Confident. So I do like that it's on a retractable pencil because I hate sharpening my pencils. <laughs> that being said, for me personally, I don't mind a retractable pencil. Well, the color looks good. Okay, this was super creamy, easy to use. I like it, I will definitely use it again. Um, I do have a red shade, but just for this look, I don't think it's really gonna work that well. So that's why I went ahead and went with the neutral shade. Let's go ahead and put on a lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the Dragon Beauty. Um, this is Dragon Glass Matte Liquid Lipstick in Horchata. This is gonna be a little bit, a little bit light, but I wanna put, um, I definitely want to put a little bit of gloss over it. Now these do take a little bit of time to dry down, so what I like to do is just kind of pat around the edges. All right, so before that even fully dries down, I am gonna go in with some gloss. This is Artist Couture in the shade Shameless. This is my absolute favorite gloss. Like this turned me to using gloss. I hated gloss for the longest time, and this like just really sold me on it. This does have a little bit of lip plumper in it, so you do get that kind of tingly feeling, but it's not super aggressive. Look at that high shine. High shine! Oh my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then I love pairing it under that with the Nikita Dragon, uh, the Dragon Beauty, because it just kind of lightens it up a little bit and gives me the gorgeous nude lip. Like, oh, look at that. Can you see that? That is stunning, look at how glossy that is oh my god okay so let's set the face real quick i'm gonna go in with my milk makeup hydrating um this is the milk makeup hydro grip set refreshing spray mm. Alrighty, guys well that is it for today i hope you enjoyed so let's go over real quick uh products that we like and products that we don't like so first things first, I was not, I went ahead and decided to not try this product since it did break. Um, I mean, that's just like completely crumbled. And I'm honestly not sure if that was my fault, like if I hit it, 
but it's so finely packed and it crumbled in so many pieces so I'm not quite sure about that one but I did like the color it was beautiful I just wish I really could have tried it the Natasha Denona palette um it's cute it's great it's okay um do I think this little five quad eyeshadow palette is worth $48 for these eyeshadows absolutely not um, I think there are a lot of different other brands that have a good formulation and a really good you know pop with the shimmers um, that may be a little bit more in people's price range than $48 for five colors so to me I just I think it's just a little expensive I don't think it's really worth it so there's that on this one the lip liner duo I absolutely really did like this shade I will definitely use it again when I want to do a red lip I will probably use this again they were super creamy they're not dry I do like that they are not a retractable um, that they are retractable so that's nice like I said they weren't drying very creamy formula they worked amazing the Jessica Black um, color corrector. Um, I would probably use this again. I do think it really like helped a little bit with the under eye. Just really gave you that extra oomph for your concealer to really shine and cover up your dark circles. I'm not a super big person on color correctors. I really just kind of gravitate more full coverage concealers. So um, if you did get this in your boxy charm, like definitely give it a give it a use um, and see if you like it. I mean, I enjoyed it. The Frisali Quinch, I did like this. I thought it was going to be sticky, but it was not. Um, it really, really worked very well. Gave myself, I used this as a primer. I didn't use any other primers today. Really gave my, my skin that, that quench that it needed. Um, so I really, really like this. I like that it is a serum. Um, so it absorbed into the skin very, very quickly. Um, so I did like this. I really do recommend this. If you get it in your boxy charm, definitely give it a try. Let's see. Um, as far as the Smashbox, the Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. It was good. It was okay. It didn't really like wow me or anything like that. It's a setting powder. I do like that you turn it to get more powder. So it kind of will keep everything in here. In place so you're not really gonna lose product or you know it's spilling or anything like that so I do like where they were going with this it's a powder I mean it's a setting powder it wasn't revolutionary or anything like that but I did like it I do like the component I will definitely use it again the one thing that I this this guy right here the pure four-in-one palette I absolutely liked the setting powder I like the bronzer I like the blush definitely love the highlight I mean just this palette for me was like it this made it and this came in my premium box so I really really enjoyed this product so this I will definitely be using again um but that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the November unboxing video I hope you guys enjoyed my November unboxing of my boxycharm boxes this month of premium and base um, other than that, that guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are not already why because there will always be something on this channel <laughs> but that being said guys until the next one bye